Hello guys, today I would like us to design this tea water tank in Autodex robot. The height is 9 meter. What what is here is we are going to design it with, with a capacity of 100,000 liters. So without wasting much time, let's, let's start. You so will come and start our Autodex robot. Give it time to load. So when you come here now, you can just click on new building. So now when you are here, this environment, if you have, you have not worked with robot before, before you do any design, you come to job preferences, there are some things you set here, dimensions, forces you make sure that it conforms to your code, the materials, I'm going with British, a lot of countries here. Ukraine, Portuguese, no, Dutch, Chinese, it's just a lot. I'll keep it at British. Steel, concrete, we'll go with 25. Come to database here. Yeah. You can open here. Yeah. You can you can move to any of this, any of this. I'll keep it here. Yeah. Vehicle load, boats, everything. Design codes for loads. Loads your load combination and all of these. So when you are done, you set it as default. Maybe you want to set that one as default. You set it as default. Then you now click OK. So the next thing you do is you set your grid. For your grid now, come here. Left click there. So you come to this environment now. So this way it starts. In our X, you can see our grid here. I set this grid in our x direction. You see, you have I say I have two spacing of two two thousand, then I have a cantilever. So let's now put it here. I have a spacing of two two thousand. I have a cantilever. This is this is my cantilever is one thousand, and it repeats. If I can one thousand, I repeat only once. And then I have a repeat of two or the distance of two meters. I have it. Then the last one is one. One. Make sure that this is on the last one. Then I have two like that. I think I've gotten that one. Numbering like that. Now I'll come here in this direction now. In the y direction here. In this position you see I have repeat station of 12 distance of 0 0.5 distance of those secondary beams spacing then here now I can say ABC I'll add I have my that then the height now repetition of how many three distance of three have total height of nine can value good or apply see and I apply easy you can see that let me close it when, when I come to view here you can see that everything is in 3d now good let's go back to plan all right here at level 3 I can start to draw. 
can pick my column and start with columns if there's a column that you want to use and it's not here you can simply you, 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 you can simply cancel here first and come to this section new uh, let's say you wanted to add another type of angle so you want to add 70 you add any type you close now you have 70 here yeah? close so when, when you pick your angle now when, when you pick your column now you can be able to find your 70 here yeah? okay so but i'm going with what do i want to go with okay ub of one five what I want let me add another UB of 200 power add universal beam see I'm going with that add and close close let's come here pick my column Pick the column I want to use. I'm at level three now. So I'm having an offset of one thousand. Think I'll drop a column here. Drop here. Drop here. Then distance of five hundred. One thousand five hundred. Two thousand. Can rotate. Let me rotate this thing. The direction of primary primary beams. When you select it and come here, change it to ninety. Everything has been rotated. So this is what we have. Come back to your plan view. Come back to. Okay, let's say now we can use draw beams of 75. Alright, I'll close this now. Let's go look at it in 3D. Okay, that's good. We can now do our braces. For braces, come to geometry bars. Okay. Say for these braces we can use 50 okay.
select this control control come back to plan edit copy move Oh no. It's wrong. Let's, let's copy it again. Control. We rotate this. Okay, yes, this is wrong. Drew this thing wrongly. Delete plus the note. Pick it. Have to be careful. Control. Good. So now come to edit copy move I can pick this here and bring it here pick it here and then bring it to the S string and down with that this side too you can do the same thing Here, rotate, copy this, control, copy this, come to edit, copy move, select here, drop here, select there, and drop there, close. Saying there is no problem. Yeah, everything is fine. You can copy this to other floors. Done. Copy move up from here to here. You can see copy from here. Okay, this refuse to paste. There's something you need to do first. Let's let's just control C back. Come to here. What is the Top height nine add apply and close. Click the ones. So now we can move to so any floor we want. Let all you did select again copy move then let, let me put this put this in 3d so i can see more come to edit copy move Start from here, come here, start from here again, and I come here. Now I have nine, nine meters height. I 
have my 9 meters height okay so let's come to we are story 9 now so on this last floor now let's we'll delete these ones up for now Good. Go back to plan at level nine. Come to this place. Come to beams. Then let's choose one five two. Look at it in 3D. All right, this is good. Let's come back. So our beams here. For our secondary beams now. Choose this. Okay, so what we have now, we can select this by cross section, 
come to geometry additional attributes offset release of this one Offset as move up good. So we can now select this one to a cross section geometry. Additional attributes and offsets. Good. So now you can see this. So the next thing we can do is we can create our cladings. So now let's create our claddings. Come here to geometry claddings with good claddings here. Pick rectangle. Start from here. Come here. Okay, let's see if that is correct. All right, that's correct. So the next thing we can create our loadings. No, immediately I was putting the grid, the columns, the created supports for me, pin supports. So I've come to load types. I come to load types now. Have their load scan. Their load will be the load of the water. Okay, has yeah, activated, it has given the dead load save weight, it's fine. It's water load, add, and life load, I'll add. Okay, close. Alright, so I'll come now. 
four uh, for for the for the dead load is dead load come here to load definition he has already added the save weight but if it doesn't you come to save weight and you add and you apply so let's come to water load for the water load i'll come to area due to this area by the time you convert you first convert your liters to kilograms then from kilograms you call convert it to kilonewtons and then divide by the total area by the time I do that for 100 liters and an area of 5 meter by 5 meter I'm having the load here of 39 no on zero here is zero here is Z minus 39 kilonewton per meter square oh no 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 that this very one three four two Let me re add it for water load area as 39. Good 342. I valid the load. Mm -hmm. this, this is my water load. Maybe the, the life load. Let's see, add minus zero point six. Add okay. So this zero point six, I can even add it by this size. Those life load, those service. So now that you are done adding your load, you can generate no remaining this side. Pick for this. Good. You can generate your wind loads. Come to loads. Geometry. Pick two sides. So the wind speed of 26. Material, let me select the top. Good. I'll copy this. I'll come and paste here. And now, now,
When it's done now, close this. We can now do load generate load combination. Come to automatic manual more remove this add the select or generate your load combination now we can analyze before we analyze let's do something we can select these nodes select all so that we can delete the isolated nodes good now we can run our analysis I have zero warning okay so let's check our results bars reaction at FZ apply Let's check for this. So our reactions at various places. And check the formation and stuff like that so the next thing we are going to move to design of the steel members for, for that we we'll come to geometry here steel design aluminum and that I want to create groups for our columns. Let's select the cross sections to we'll copy. Create group one. Control V. Paste the list. We we'll are call this. Tanchons or columns from here use UB okay save speak this uh, it's something that's something that we did wrong Let's go back. We didn't distribute our load, right? Is this top load? Right click here. Mm, display. Come to FE model. Load distribution. On your panels. Let's see. Would want our load to distribute in the direction of the secondary beams so that it will not take it to the primary beams so when you come here they say one way yes, okay. the load was not distributed correctly no, this is wrong use y correct let's see good see we distribute to the secondary beams then the secondary beams take it to primary beams so let's still run our analysis correct now we we'll proceed steel design Let's pick 
primary beams the cross section copy it create a new group paste the numbers of the beams you can call this PB beams anything you, you know you can write full so using the same sections of save cross section these S beams section I have it there and save copy new paste braces Diagonal color diagonal braces open section you can delete all this there open section come to angle equal angle select that save and then just select this cross section New Control V. The sections are still there. You can just call these braces. I don't. I can save now. So now, let's come to Code Group Design. Select these groups I created. Close automatic limit states combination loads. Select them. Okay. Now I can calculate the calculation. All right. Now you can see. I choose this, it chooses this for me, choose 25 for primary beams it chooses this for me for secondary beams both of them are ok braces Diagonal braces, okay. You can say change all. Everything has been changed to the right sections. So I can now still analyze. So now I can just select by material everything has been selected i'll copy if you like and I'll now do member verification ctrl v everything is okay now
calculation loads can get it simplified for these things you can print out no by PDF so from here now we can design our connection for connection designs you can come to connections select that member and the node and the member node and member nothing was selected We select that control and I'll select these ones. This connection, you, you can come to connection view here. Plates. This this EV here. Can change it depends on so what we have. Apply. Mm. Two seven. Okay. Cancel this. Foundation here you can choose twenty five L. Let's see. Split self C25 can make it 20. Comes to my you can make this 50. You're good. It's like that. This will, will have to. Okay, let's analyze this and see. It's passed very well. So this now you can save this as DXF that is if it's a DXF with a name you can go maybe base you can go to T 
to go to car and uh, get it. There's that for that. They can also save the report. Export to Microsoft Excel or print. Under this print now you can print as PDF Nitro, you know, the whole of these calculations. All right. Right here, you can also provide a reinforcement. No, no, no. Let's go back to structure of the zero zero story. Good. This is where you can design your foundation. You can select this. And then you now click here. Story one, okay, pick one of the foundation. But this is it. this let's see h h1 h1 and h2 you can fix this h2 300 h1 0 0.4 H4 50 mm I use this bolted the dark column is of 0.4 by 0.4 okay let's talk about plates talk about plate Zero point two by zero point two. So now calculation options general C one. Two here, okay. concrete twenty 
if that's what you want to use. You can choose C25. Longitudinal reinforcement. So you are using Y16. Transverse. You see, you are using Y10. Additional. So you are using Y16 and 12. Here, BLC. I've done this before. You can see save us. You write the name base. I'm going to use one of these base. The technical calculations here. Well, uh, here's the bearing capacity. You can put maintain that. Or let's say your bearing capacity is 0 0.10. You can put that. Save as standard one. Okay. Start calculation. Generate joints. No, we mustn't generate for now. You can see the size of my design: one point six by one point six. Right, that's good. Then you can check Y16, Y16. Let's set this. I think I was the one that said the triangle to this. If this one was also supposed to be Y16. You can see this now. You can actually print this. So you can see the foundation nodes. All the foundation nodes here. Yes, you can go ahead and do this for this for the second one. So that's so that's how we'll do design of the structure like this so if you haven't subscribed to my channel the time you can come and subscribe you know the lot of materials that I have here ranging from Revit to Dex robots proto structures sub 2000 so this in order to do that my, my playlist is here you can get a lot of
free training there free of charge I'm not charging anything so thank you for watching about this tutorial if you have any comments you can drop in the comment sections and I'll attend to you thanks for watching have you been desiring to get an exclusive design for your dream home? Or you have been looking out there for an expert firm to handle your project? HG Structures has got you covered. HG Structures is a consultancy company registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria to deal in providing world-class standard services with a view of ensuring clients need timely. HE Structures deals in structural design, analysis, and modeling of buildings, telecommunications mast, bridges, culverts, retaining walls, swimming pools, and drainages. We are also experts in architectural designs and modelings of residential, commercial, and industrial buildings. We have a strategic way of remodeling of structures to classic taste. Our remote software training ranges from AutoCAD, Revit, ProtoStructures, Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis, Quick Civil Series, Tecla Structures, SAP 2000, Lumion, and so on. You can reach us on WhatsApp and website displayed on the screen. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channels displayed.